Richard Franklin Lennox Thomas Pryor was an American stand-up comedian, actor, and writer. He reached a broad audience with his trenchant observations and storytelling style, and is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential stand-up comedians of all time. Pryor's body of work includes the concert movies and recordings, Richard Pryor, Live and Smokin', 1971, That Nigger's Crazy, 1974, Is It Something I Said? 1975, Bicentennial Nigger, 1976, Richard Pryor, Live in Concert, 1979, Richard Pryor, Live on the Sunset Strip, 1982, and Richard Pryor, Here and Now, 1983. As an actor, he starred mainly in comedies such as Silver Streak, 1976, but occasionally in dramas, including Paul Schrader's Blue Collar, 1978, or action films, like Superman 3, 1983. He collaborated on many projects with actor Gene Wilder. Another frequent collaborator was actor-slash-comedian-slash-writer Paul Mooney. Pryor won an Emmy Award, 1973, and five Grammy Awards, 1974, 1975, 1976, 1981, and 1982. In 1974, he also won two American Academy of Humor Awards and the Writers Guild of America Award. The first Kennedy Center Mark Twain Prize for American Humor was presented to him in 1998. He was listed at number one on Comedy Central's list of all-time greatest stand-up comedians. In 2017, Rolling Stone ranked him first on its list of the 50 best stand-up comics of all time. In November 1977, after many years of heavy smoking and drinking, Pryor suffered a mild heart attack at age 37. He recovered and resumed performing in January the following year. In 1986, he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. In 1990, Pryor suffered a second heart attack while in Australia. He underwent triple heart bypass surgery in 1991. In late 2004 his sister said he had lost his voice as a result of his multiple sclerosis. However, on January 9, 2005, Pryor's wife, Jennifer Lee, rebutted this statement in a post on Pryor's official website, citing Richard as saying, I'm sick of hearing this shit about me not talking, not true. I have good days, bad days, but I still am a talking motherfucker. On December 10, 2005, nine days after his 65th birthday, Pryor suffered a third heart attack in Los Angeles. He was taken to a local hospital after his wife's attempts to resuscitate him failed. He was pronounced dead at 7.58 a.m. PST. His widow Jennifer was quoted as saying, At the end, there was a smile on his face. He was cremated, and his ashes were given to his family. His ashes were later spread in 2019 by his widow, Jennifer, in Hana, Hawaii. 
Forensic pathologist Michael Hunter believes Pryor's fatal heart attack was caused by coronary artery disease that was at least partially brought about by years of tobacco smoking.